America was exploding in 1896 thanks to immigration, industrialization, and globalization. Society and the economy were transforming overnight. The time was ripe for a modern president, and that man was William McKinley, who was actually similar to the old kind of president. McKinley grew up in Ohio, fought in the Civil War, and became a lawyer. He had a nice career as a Republican congressman, then a few terms as governor of Ohio. He won the White House in 1896, then worked with Republican-controlled Congress on the protectionist economic policies he had promised during his campaign. His inauguration was the first to be recorded by a movie camera, but he stood out on foreign affairs. The American public had gone gaga for Cuban rebels who were trying to break off from Spain. McKinley personally managed the Spanish-American War, a whooping that both liberated Cuba and gave the U.S. control of Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Philippines. He oversaw the annexation of Hawaii and, with more power in the Pacific, forced other countries to respect U.S. trade rights in China. All these moves made the U.S. into a global power. A crazed anarchist shot McKinley six months into his second term, but McKinley made his mark. Future presidents would build on his precedent of bold executive action.